Jared Polin, FronosPhoto.com. And guess what time it is? It's time for an Adorama Picks rapid fire critique. But before we do that, if you haven't checked out the free guide to building your online presence, go ahead and click up here right now or go to FronosPhoto.com slash branding to get a free two and a half hour video guide that you can download and do whatever the hell you would like to do with. So here we have this. It says, Rapid Fire, let me know what you think, Fro, by Julie Consiglio. So go ahead, go ahead and click here on the first one. Let's take a look at what we are shot with. We have the Nikon D710, along with uh, the 17, the 55, 2.8, which is probably the Nikon lens shot at 2.8. Okay, so this looks like it's a long exposure, and I think I know where this is. I think this is ground for sculptures. I've actually been out there before. It kind of is... Uh, Boring, in my opinion, uh, but here, here's the image. I like the colors, I like what's going on here, but we've got some issues around the trees. So it's somewhere in the processing that's getting pumped up. We need to expose more for the artwork that's right here and less for all of the surrounding stuff because as you can see where I'm moving my mouse, there seems to be an issue and this looks like there's something going on here. There's some selective coloring going on, uh, you know, the exposure, it's fine, but I would like to see more detail done with this. So possibly a tighter shot of something along these lines, and then we'll move on from there. Um, so here we go. This is, so So what is interesting about this image is I know the size of this Marilyn Monroe is like t uh, 25 feet tall, but you don't get that feeling. There's no perspective for the size of this, even though she's touching the trees, it's kind of hard to understand how large it is, and part of your job as a photographer is to make that seem large. So, lower angle, something in the foreground that gives you the idea of what's going on in the image. Now, the image is fine. Now, I wanna remind everybody out here what a critique is. A critique is just one person's opinion. In this case, it's my opinion, and I don't know the situation that people are in, so I only can go based off of guesses or what information I have with me. I have the image and I have how it's shot. So I can only give my opinion and I know the same thing holds true when people are looking at my work. If they don't have the story behind it or what you were going for, well, they can't always give you the best advice, but this is what we try to do with the critique. It's my personal opinion. You can agree with it. You don't have to agree with it, but that is what critiques are all about. Moving on to the next one. All right, so we've got a low light. Let's D710, same thing, sorry, yeah, D7100, 17 to 55, 150th of a second. I think I would like to see this in color, to be honest. It's a, it's a fair. Or go even slower. Have this guy stand still. I don't like the positioning of where he's at, but you've got the girl blurring in the background. I just think it's, it comes across more as a snapshot, but there's possibilities here that would be very interesting to see if we saw the color. I would love to see what the neon color would look like bouncing off of this guy's face and all of these things up here. It could be a very interesting shot. Is it perfect? No. Is it terrible? No. It's, it's a shot, and I think there are some things that could make it better, but um, I, I just think the guy is too far off to the right-hand side, and it's a little distracting what's going on here, but I think the color would be good. I like the fact that it blows out the background so that this guy's the main focus. I just think he's not in the right area for the focus. Now, I don't know if it's just a random guy standing there or they told them to stand there, but that's my opinion on that. Now, this is super cool. Now, this is a longer exposure. We can see up 20 second exposure. We can see that right now. They love their 17 to 55. What I love about this shot more than anything, love the clouds and I love the way that the, the lines are straight of the building. I think the building is more interesting, in my opinion, than what's happening over here on the right-hand side. I, uh, you know, this building in the background is not as interesting, and the water feature isn't really as interesting, but I can see what they're going for to try to get some of the, the ghosty McGhosterston stuff like you can see up in the wispy, wispy clouds. I would maybe come around on a different angle and shoot straight on with something like this. But what I do love, that the lines are absolutely incredibly straight. So fantastic job right there. Where was this taken? I don't think it's gonna give me that data, but very interesting. So that's what I have to say about that one. Moving on, what is this, a Jax? Is that like a Jack? I mean, this is just a picture. It, honestly, it's, it's one of those snapshots. There's not much that I can say about it. 
because there's really not much to say about it. So I'm going to move on on that one. Okay. So what I the first thing that I notice is that the lines aren't straight. Now part of that could be the building is crooked. Probably not. So the first thing that I want to make sure when I'm doing when I'm out here shooting, I want this horizon line to be straight. Now unless it's a famous street that is meant to be on an angle, this building is probably not cockeyed or crooked, and you're probably standing in the middle of the street going, uh, I'm going to get hit by a, a trolley or a truck or something, but you want to get your line straight. The center point should be straight. Unless I'm just totally wrong and this was meant to be off. Now, this is done with an 18 to 55. Oops. Going forward, I was just scrolling. It says 18 to 55 and Nikon D510, June 25th. So I'm going to probably guess that it was before they upgraded to the D7100 and 17 to 55. The, the, the processing's fine. You just got to get the line straight. So other than that, it's all, it's all good. I like street shots like this. All right, so here we have this. We've got the line straight. Now, is the road straight? I don't care about the road being straight in this case. I like the straightness and the tones going on in this image right here. I love how this is straight and horizontal. It looks good. Like I said before, if it's something where the it's famous and it's known for being cockeyed or crooked, then in that case you want to you want to play along with that. But here I love the straight nature of it. I love what's going on here and the people walking by. This is really nice shot. Nice job. So this is interesting too. D7100 We've got the 17 to 55 again. A lot of black and white, which I'm, which is fine, especially in a night scene like this. Now, I like that you see this girl blurry as she's going to hit the punching bag. There's a bunch of different things that you could do. How slow of a shutter speed? One fiftieth of a second, which doesn't seem that slow that she should blur that much unless she was moving pretty quick. But it's a cool shot. I would actually consider coming down at a lower angle to get more to make it look more extreme. Plus, these people are a little distracting from the subject here or come in a little tighter. Ah, we got a color photo here. So this is with a hundred millimeter, probably a macro of some kind, and it looks good. I would try not to cut off the tentacle here, this extra tentacle, it's a little on the tight side, but it does, look at these eyeballs. The color's good, looks good. I would just try not to cut off that tentacle thing or come in even tighter to get a nice tighter shot because cutting it off is I guess like cutting off fingers. And this is just a snapshot in my opinion. Not very good. When was this taken? Same, about the same time. This is one of those photos that it's over processed. You can see that right through here. It's more of a snapshot of what was going, of just this scene. It's like cell phone picture basically is what it's yelling at me. So I don't like this one. Don't like the solarized look like the exposure was wrong and then they had to bring it back. Not a big fan of this shot, and I guess that's the last one there. So there are some really good shots in here. Back to the album. Love this, this one right here. Love this one. This one's not bad. Just get it a little straighter. This needs a little bit of work. Love to see the color, and that's pretty much it. So that is a rapid-fire critique of this person's best 10 photos. People always ask, how do I submit my best 10 photos? Well, we request them either on... Facebook or Twitter from time to time. Generally, it's in a Facebook post, so that's where we grab the links when I ask for them. We build up a backlog and we try to do as many as possible. And when I say we, I actually mean me. So if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube or on Facebook, hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button here on, on YouTube so that you could be notified when all my videos go live. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Leave some comments down below and share it with the world if you think it can help somebody else. And that is it, another Adorama Picks Rapid Fire Critique, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.